everyone. Hope you had a great day. Today I'm going to be talking about my exhibition, How Benny is Destroying Sports. I'm Tim from PLP 5A, and I go into the, in, in the International School of Elmo. More in depth about this topic. In this project, I'll talk about how betting is destroying sports, or betting and sports, basically. I want to highlight that betting as such is perfectly fine. That is used, but the betting that is used to affect the outcome of a game is destroying the sports we love. For me, sports is all about fair play, and the team, and I want the team that plays the best to win, not the player or uh, the player who gets the most money from winning or losing. What is betting? The action of gambling, money on the outcome of race, game, or other unpredictable event. The odds offered by bookmakers on the outcome of races, games, EDC. Bookmakers are people who give um, the betters better odds. So say you have 25% on a bet, and then you buy a bookmaker, and then it comes to 50%. History of betting in sports. Sports betting has been around for a long time, and its history is really big. Experts find it rather difficult to determine when exactly sports betting began. They do know it's been around for thousands of years. When people bet on the outcome of a horse race at Rome, in Rome. But already then, laws didn't prevent people from betting. Through time, there's always been some sort of betting. In one, most cases, betting is no longer illegal. But some say betting leads to crime. There are also other opinions saying all the income of betting is good for our country. In recent decades, one of the biggest additions is the internet. And now people can bet online. And that makes way more people bet online and more people starting to bet. So, betting is a huge industry now and it gains a lot of money. In my opinion, betting to change the outcome of a game, and I'll be talking about what I mean later, is not good. But betting with your friends and with your dad is perfectly fine. Why I think this? So gambling happens in sports. And some people say, well, isn't gambling fun? Well, yeah. But if we look more in depth, we'll see this thing. So my first example is, Pretend someone bets 900,000 US dollars. Now Zlatan Ibrahimovic, a Swedish soccer player, doesn't score any of his goals. And then Zlatan says, okay, because it's a lot of money. And then Zlatan goes, and then Zlatan, he goes, misses all of his shots, seven of seven misses, and gets the money. But his team and his fans lose. Now, the second example. So the Zlatan one didn't happen in real life, but this one happened in real life. Now, someone bets, but he's also a drug dealer for this Escobar dude. And pretend it's 1994, USA versus Colombia. And a Colombian player scores an own goal. And then, and then they lose the match. That means that they don't have a parade going through all the, all the places to America. So then, when the plane gets back to Colombia, they shoot the player that gets the own goal because they couldn't supply their drugs and they couldn't get the money. Some facts around betting sports. In the UK, there are around 430,000 problem gamblers. In the UK, the number of children with gambling issues is around 50,000. In the US, yearly amount of money betted in sports is around 150 billion euro. In the US, 2 million people have gambling issues.
So what I'm what is a gambling problem and a gambling issue is basically that they're addicted. The total sports betting industry is estimated to be around 700 billion euro in a month. The good side of betting. Now, betting is not only bad for the game. It might have some fun things. Reason one, teams are sponsored by betting companies. Fun fact, 17 out of the 20 Premier League teams, the Premier League is a in, is the English main soccer league, um, are sponsored by betting companies. Reason two, some people don't take betting that serious and make small bets with their friends for fun. Bad examples. There are eight here, so you can read them. Um, but I'm only going to tell these three. So the first one, Andres Escobar killed after scoring an own goal in the ninth against the USA in the 1994 World Cup because gamblers and drug dealers get, didn't get their money. Gilbert Arenas gone scandal with Javaris Christensen after playing Bure a card game on the plane and they got into a fight which led both players pulling out a gun. Alex Karras, an American football player, not participating in the coin toss to not to mess up his his and his friends gambling. Fun fact, more than half of professional sports teams are sponsored by a betting company. Three trillion is, is spent on betting in a sports in a year. Not even someone has three trillion. N no, no one has had three trillion. Almost every day, someone bets over 100,000 US dollars on betting on one thing on sports betting. Some people in one week spend one million US dollars on sports, but this happened very few times. My solution. People interested in betting in sports and professional sports players should be made aware about the risk of betting in sports. They should also maximize the amount of money you can bet, so you can bet with and the amount of money that you can get from betting. If people still would place a high bet and try to influence the outcome of a sports game, they should pay a high fine. The sports players that were involved should be f suspended from professional sports forever. Conclusion. Sports betting is good to play with your friends, but when you are starting to get more serious with betting and you start betting to influence the outcome of sports games is not fun to be a sports fan because you know the match might be influenced by someone earning money from betting. My solutions are making people aware of the risks to maximize the amount of money you can put in and put out and um, if people still, still try to bet with high amounts and influence sports games, they should get a high fine and the sports players should be suspended, that was included, should be suspended for life. My action was I made this poster and I put it around uh, the city and around the school and it's advertising my YouTube video. You can go watch it. My channel name is TVDP Savage. Don't forget to subscribe, please. This is how you write it. The end. Thanks for listening. Hope you have a great day. And bye.